this is an unboxing of the YSL small denim puffer bag. This is an unboxing of the YSL small denim puffer bag. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please feel free to share this video with those that you know will enjoy the content as well. Well, let's get into it. This is the box that it came in. And as you can see, the box is a very clean box on the outside. I just recently ordered the YSL Medium Lulu in black. And as you guys know, the my first box I received was damaged. Just to catch you up, I, then I received another box from YSL, but it was a smaller box. It was not the box that the Medium Lulu would fit in. And of course, I let them know about that and I requested a third box from them and it was torn so i guess they're having some type of box issue right now uh where all the boxes are broken uh and then at that point she told me that she was unable the client services told me that they were unable to provide me with any more boxes that was the basically the scenario of that so i am and researching this handbag for a while you know i i make my pet purchases very carefully still love coach and other handbags coach uh coach and i go back so far i am starting to venture into the luxury handbags as well let's order some some additional coach items so you know guys that are coach lovers please stay tuned uh, so let's get right into this unboxing of the YSL small denim puffer bag. I did not look in. You are sharing this moment with me right now. The only thing I did was break the seal. You're gonna get my first impression. Like I said, I've watched videos on this bag. I have been just eyeing this bag and looking at it on the videos and just really, whoa, what happened there? like they were in a rush or something this is the paperwork and it's got a cut in it i wonder why it's got that cut in it like that let me inspect and make sure everything on the inside of this is okay hold on like i told you guys you're getting a look first look just like i am i'm just you know i just can't and there's there are no cuts as you can see, there are no cuts in the cover of the box. Someone must have been in a big hurry when they packaged this. Okay, let's see if anything's damaged on the inside. Thank you, Laurent. Thank you, card. All is well with that. Doesn't appear to be any issues there. And there's their return information. And got the return label. And last but not least is the information on the bag. So let me show you the style number. So you'll have all of that information as well. Okay, so I'm just kind of surprised somebody, I guess they couldn't find a, they must be short on envelopes too. I guess they couldn't find a, a envelope without a tear in it. Oh, well. Well, maybe they knew I was the box lady that had requested all those boxes. So they decided to get me back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, I don't, I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open up the box. <laughs> Let me look at this box. It looks like it's a good box this time. Let's, uh, but you know, last time I looked at the box, know what happened I, that ribbon was covering it so i need to this time this box looks really nice okay i will let you know if i see any issues with the box but it was just sitting in here like this okay so let's take it out i'm gonna put this to the side now so you can see the beautiful box okay so let me pull it out now this box looks like it's brand new you know, me and my, me and boxes. Yeah. 
I'm going to try to get this off. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, this box looks like it's, a, it's good to go. Let me, because a lot of times you can't see the condition of the box until you flip it over like this. Yes. Okay, this box is, it's good to go. Man, why did they stick the label? Normally they put the label um, on the, yeah, I guess it is on, maybe I didn't notice it with the other box, I don't know. But here's what it looks like inside the box, you guys. Let me just show you that. Here's what it looks like inside the box. Okay. They must have been in a hurry. Because I, I think I would have looked for a better envelope than that one. Okay. And again, in the dust bag. Now, I can tell this dust bag is a brand new dust bag. It's got a shine to it that those other dust bags did not have. You know, look at this. You can tell that's brand new. I don't see no issues with it whatsoever. That other bag was kind of dingy and I don't know. Yeah, this is a brand new dust bag. It's a brand new dust bag. I can see the difference. After looking at this dust bag, I almost want to return to YSL Medium Lulu. But, you know, I don't know. Just feeling some kind of way. But I'm not, I'm, I'm getting better at with, with each passing day. I said I was going to call a supervisor and talk to them. Yeah, this is a brand new dust bag, you can tell. Brand new. Okay. So let me take the bag out the dust bag. Bag, dust bag is brand new and nice. This is how it was wrapped. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see. Looking at seeing, looking, seeing some tears here and just wondering if this is a return because this is taped up. And then also this is taped up. Look like it was torn off, guys. Let's keep what let's keep looking. Maybe somebody kind of put tore it and pulled it back and decided, oh no, they don't want this one. This is a no. Okay. I know if it was used, that means that this is okay. So what we got here. Is the back side? I'm not sure if this is leather or not. I would, I would figure it would be leather, but it looks like this portion here is suede. Okay, you know, and then it's also got that same tear here. See there? I didn't do that. That was like that already when I got it. Looks like somebody looked at it and, and wanted to see if it was uh, want to look at it. And then they decided, no, nah, I'm sending this back. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just rambling on. I know what you're saying. Open the bag. Open the bag. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So, this bag is the small. I almost got the medium, but I did not because the strap dropped the longest strap drop on the medium was 18.8 inches and I want to say this one was over 20 inches I can't remember if it was 20.6 or something like that or 20.8 uh, I will I will type it what it what they have on the website when I post the video but anyway yeah I'm trying to get this off, guys. Hold on. So, let's smell it. See what it smells like. Well, at least the dust bag was new this time. It's actually smaller than what I thought. It really is smaller. But it's a beautiful denim. Let me just give you a 
tour around the bag. Hold on, let me take off this stuff. You you know you guys know me. I'm gonna take it all the way off and inspect it. I'm not gonna leave this on here because you may miss something while you're doing that. So it's coming all the way off when I do my inspection. I take it off. Hold on. I'm just wondering why that was tore like that. You know. I can see somebody getting this and saying, oh, no, it's too small. I don't want this. So, you know, they, they looked at it and then they said, sent it right back. So I can see that. Let me look in the inside. I don't think it was worn or anything like that. Like I said, you're getting the first impression along with me. Okay, I'm not hiding a thing. Okay, not hiding anything. Okay, but my first impression of the bag is it's a nice denim bag. I like the bag. Don't get me wrong. But if you're thinking this bag, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Of course, it's called the, the small denim puffer. It is smaller it's one big hole in there, okay? And it's also smaller than the YSL Medium Lulu, just so you know. Capacity is smaller on the inside. Let's see what's in here. Okay, the paperwork. But if you're trying to get the denim toy bag, I'll go ahead and tell you. If you're trying to get that one, it's going to be, it's very, it's, it's sold out. Um, it's hard to get. I don't even see it on, on the YSL website. I know a lot of people, I know it's a very popular bag. This is the small. Okay. So this is the paperwork. Card. YSL Paris. What else we got in here? Got a control number. Okay. What is this? Manufacturer book. Uh... Another booklet. I like it. Hmm. And then, what is this? Oops. Okay. More product information. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in this little envelope. It seemed like it was a little bit more in here than normally is in here. It was real interesting. But anyway. Set that to the side for now because I don't want to prolong this video longer than I have to. People get bored with me. My daughter told me my videos are boring. She said you need to put some music in the background or something. So type a comment in the comment box if you just like them with music or without music. Because I never really know. And I'm getting I'm new to editing, so I'm terrible at it. <laughs> so the less editing I can do right now, the better. <laughs> So, but I did learn how to put music on the videos and I know how to cut, but that's about it. Okay. This is the inside of the bag and well, I know how to cut the video. Let me go back and rephrase that. I know how to put music on the video. I know how to cut the video. This is the inside of the bag. I don't know if you will be able to see this or not. I'm going to pull the zipper pouch up. It does say St. Laurent on the zipper pouch there. Decent capacity on a zipper pouch, and there's something down in the bottom of here, another serial number or something in there. But, uh, like I said, the bag, I mean, if you don't carry a whole lot, it will work for you. And you know I'm going to tell you guys whether or not it works for me. The only reason I did not get the, uh, let's see if that sticks. And come kind of light here hmm maybe it's not on there all the way okay there it goes the only reason i did not get the medium was because the strap drop according to the website was smaller okay and that's the reason why i did not get the medium okay let's see you know this strap drop does hang a little lower you know an inch 
can make a multitude of difference when you're wearing a bad crossbody. And as you guys know, I'm a crossbody girl. Now for the mod shots, this is the bag as a crossbody, which is my favorite way to wear this bag. And you can type a comment in the comment box and let me know what you think. Sorry about the outfit. I've been at work all day today. So this is the bag as a crossbody. Now I'm going to show it to you as a shoulder bag. This is the bag as a shoulder bag. Now I'm going to show it to you as a long shoulder bag, which I forgot to show you guys in my YSL Medium Lulu video. It is on my channel if you're interested. And I also have a one week update video on my channel. Because when you're buying luxury, you want to know about the experience. You want to know about the experience when you're in this price point. So I feel that it's important. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.